The orbital piloted assembly and experiment complex Russian orbitalnij pilotirumij subarokno experimentalnij complex orbitalnij pilotirujimij subarokno experimentalnij complex OPSIC OPSEK was a 2009 to 2017 Russian proposed third generation modular space station for low earth orbit. The concept was to use OPSEK to assemble components of manned interplanetary spacecraft destined for Mars, the Moon, and possibly Saturn. The returning crew could also recover on the station before landing on Earth. Thus, in the concept, OPSEK could form part of a future network of stations supporting manned exploration of the Solar System. In early plans, the station was to consist initially of several modules from the Russian orbital segment of the International Space Station. ISS. However, in September 2017, the head of Roscosmos Igor Komarov said that the technical feasibility of separating the station to form OPSEK had been studied and there were now no plans to separate the Russian segment from the ISS. We keep the same position, that we should work on the ISS together with our partners. Overview. Around the predicted decommissioning of the International Space Station in the late 2020s, the Russian Federal Space Agency Roscosmos developed a concept in 2009 to construct a successor station in low Earth orbit. The 2009 concept considered reusing several ISS modules to form the initial parts of a new station, which were to be subsequently be replaced by new modules. On 17 June 2009, Roscosmos officially informed its ISS partner NASA about its intention to "...build and prepare for operation the first elements of the orbital assembly and experimental piloted space complex by the end of the ISS life cycle." As of 2017, those plans had been abandoned, and the new station was to be composed entirely of new purpose built modules. According to the Russian manned spaceflight contractor RKK Energia, the new station must be able to perform the following tasks Large spacecraft assembly, Flight tests and launches, Creating, servicing, and completing into orbital tugs. Providing medical and biological conditions required for the rehabilitation of interplanetary expedition crews after their return to Earth orbit. Topic <laughs> Structure OPSEK was to have followed the Salyut and Almaz series, Cosmos 557, and Mir as the twelfth Russian space station launched. OPSEK is a third generation modular space station. Examples of other modular stations include the Soviet Russian Mir, the International Space Station, and the Chinese Space Station. The first space station, Salyut 1, and other One Piece or monolithic First generation space stations, such as Salyut 2, 3, 4, 5, DOS 2, Cosmos 557, Almaz, and NASA's Skylab station, were not designed for resupply. Generally, each crew had to depart the station to free the only docking port for the next crew to arrive. Skylab had more than one docking port but was not designed for resupply. Salyut 6 and 7 had more than one docking port and were designed to be resupplied routinely during crewed operation. Modular stations can allow the mission to be changed over time and new modules can be added or removed from the existing structure, allowing greater flexibility. Modules <inaudible> 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 Expected Russian orbital segment modules around the time of OPSEK separation 2020 or later arranged by launch dates 2000 Zvezda DOS 8 potential part of OPSEK 2009 Poisk MRM2 potential part of OPSEK Poisk Russian Poisk Lit Search, also known as the Mini Research Module 2 MRM2, Malijisladovitelsk Module 2, or MIM-2. 
Poisk is a Russian airlock module with two identical hatches. Its predecessor, PIRs, is used to store, service, and refurbish Russian Orland suits. The outermost docking ports on both airlocks allow docking of Soyuz and Progress spacecraft, and the automatic transfer of propellants to and from storage on the station. 2018, Norka to form part of Opsnorka Russian, Norka Lit. Science, also known as the Multipurpose Laboratory Module MLM or FGB-2, Russian, Nagofunctionalnij Laboratornij Module or MLM, is the major Russian laboratory module. This module will be separated from the ISS before de-orbit with support modules to become the OPSEK space station. It contains an additional set of life support systems and orientation control. Nauka's mission has changed over time. During the mid 1990s, it was intended as a backup for the first FGB, and later as a Universal Docking Module. UDM. Its docking ports will be able to support automatic docking of both spacecraft, additional modules, and fuel transfer. Prior to the arrival of the MLM, a Progress robotic spacecraft will dock with the ISS PIRS module, depart with that module, and both will be discarded. Norca will then use its own engines to attach itself to the ROS after 2014. The European robotic arm, which will service the Russian orbital segment, will be launched alongside the MLM. 2018, Uzlovoy module, to form part of Opsnode module um, nanometer, this four-ton ball-shaped module will support the docking of two scientific and power modules during the final stage of the station assembly and provide the Russian segment additional docking ports to receive Soyuz TMA transportation modified anthropometric and Progress M spacecraft. Nanometer is to be incorporated into the ISS in 2016. It will be integrated with a special version of the Progress cargo ship and launched by a standard Soyuz rocket. The Progress would use its own propulsion and flight control system to deliver and dock the node module to the Nadir Earth -facing docking port of the Norka MLM, FGB-2 module. One port is equipped with an active hybrid docking port, which enables docking with the MLM module. The remaining five ports are passive hybrids, enabling docking of Soyuz and Progress vehicles, as well as heavier modules and future spacecraft with modified docking systems. More importantly, the node module was conceived to serve as the only permanent element of OPSEK. Equipped with six docking ports, the node module would serve as a single permanent core of the future station with all other modules coming and going as their lifespan and mission required. Uzlovoy will be launched after Norka MLM, launch dates will be 2017 or later. Science and Power Module 1 to form part of OPSEK. ROS modules not utilized in OPSEK Russian orbital segment modules scheduled for de-orbiting 2014, PIRs DC to be de-orbited before the launch of MLM Norka and that module will utilize the current PIRs port at the ISS. Russian orbital segment modules that were neither scheduled for de-orbit nor included in the OPSEK proposals 1998, Zarya FGB-1, owned by NASA, could be traded for Soyuz Progress flights after currently contracted flights are exhausted. 2010, Rasvet MRM-1, currently docked at Zarya. If Zarya is not utilized in OPSEK, it would have to be moved to another Ross OPSEK docking location. <laughs> 